Sell your expertise through scheduled webinars. Scheduled webinars are simply pre-recorded video presentations that must be viewed on appointment. This is really a marketing trick. You should remember when people are made to feel that something is scarce and is going to go away soon, they are more likely to buy. When you market your pre-recorded video as a webinar that people have to sign up for, people are more likely to sign up because they think that you have recorded it just for that event. Little do they know that you've recorded it a while back to focus on one topic. People from all over the world can actually set an appointment to view it at different times. There's really no sense of urgency as far as you're concerned, but you create a sense of urgency on their end. A distinguishing feature of scheduled webinars compared to live seminars is that there is absolutely no question and answer section. After all, you're not in front of a live audience. Advantages. As I've mentioned above, this is really a promotional trick. You build up hype for the launch of the webinar. This increases its perceived value. Once you have achieved this, you get a sneaky way to collect email addresses. When people show up to sign up for the seminar, you can offer part of it for free. To get that benefit, they have to sign up to your email list. You then send an update letting them know that the seminar is on, they see the initial video, they like it, and they sign up for more seminars. This time, they have to pay. The hype period where you are involved in the launch enhances your author appeal. You're basically sending a psychological signal to your intended audience that you are worth waiting for and that your stuff is so valuable that they should wait for it. Another advantage you get is that you get to use the launch date for your promotional outreach and marketing. Maybe you're buying ads. Maybe you're sending out emails. Maybe you're renting out other people's addresses. Whatever the case may be, you can keep coming back to that launch date so there is a perceived scarcity for the webinar. Another advantage to this is the comprehensive value-packed nature of this specific type of video. This usually involves more preparation than long, drawn-out video series. You are pushed to basically present your best materials in terms of graphic and content. Also, the video that you are shooting is actually very short. You're basically going to have to compress everything that is awesome about a specific subject within a short time frame. This increases the likelihood that the video you come up with is exciting, engaging, and very personable. It will probably do a better job of building up your expert brand than the normal videos you produce. Another key advantage that you get with this way of selling your expertise is the webinar platform that you use will take care of payment processing. In fact, some of these platforms even have promotional capabilities where people can refer their friends after they've signed up. Since this is a coaching method where you pre-record, you stand to make passive income. You record once and you get paid many times over because people sign up and view your materials many times over. The appointment system can be set to different dates. This means that if people miss the launch date, they can enter their email address and they can get a reminder to check out the next date the video will be available. It turns out that since the video is pre-recorded, it's available all the time. But you are pumping up the perceived value by only showing it at different times. People have to sign up for an appointment. To view the video, they have to pay for that appointment. Disadvantages The big drawback to this way of selling your coaching services online is the lack of engagement. Remember, this is canned content. This is not you talking or presenting live in front of a webcam. You have shot this material ahead of time, and you're focusing on a fairly narrow topic. This brings up the second disadvantage. You might actually be talking about stuff that isn't all that interesting to the viewer. This happens quite a bit. There's a recognized expert who's going to be holding a seminar on a specific topic. When people show up to view the video about that specific topic, it turns out that the actual information that they're looking for regarding that topic is either glossed over, mentioned in passing, or not explored at all. Talk about a letdown. You can bet that people are going to feel disappointed if they actually paid money to view the video. Another disadvantage is that paid webinars carry huge pressure to deliver value above and beyond the normal value your books and canned video courses deliver. Otherwise, if people feel let down, your brand might suffer. You might actually lose followers because they'd think that you ripped people off or you overpromised and underdelivered. Please understand that since this is not live, you can't engage the call and response effect. This effect is crucial in making live interactions so much more meaningful and fun. Step-by-step -step guide. To use this way of selling your coaching services, you need to do the following. Step number one, pick the right webinar platform. There's a wide range of platforms out there, but the right one for you should have payment processing capabilities, which means they should be able to take PayPal easily. It should also have promotional elements. When people sign up for a seminar, they should be able to invite their friends or share the materials on their Facebook wall. Also, the appointment setting system must be very robust. It must be clear as to when they're going to see the video and the system must remind them via email. Step number two, write your video script. Remember, you're not going to be sharing everything you know about your specific subject of expertise. 
Instead, you're going to focus on a fairly narrow range of topics within your expertise. Write your video script accordingly. Step number three, shoot your video. Don't try to shoot everything in one take. Try to get audio guides ready or some sort of visual aid. Also make sure that there is enough helpful audio with the presentation. Now, please understand that this is not a slideshow. This is you speaking to the camera and trying to engage with the viewers using all sorts of props and graphical aids. It can get quite rough. You might have to do several takes, but what's important is that the video comes off as smooth, authoritative, and professional as possible. Step number four, do outreach and promo. You have to promote. If people have signed up to your mailing list, send out an update. If people talk about your author brand on Facebook groups and Facebook pages, announce your webinar there. You might even have to buy Facebook page ads. Step number five, set up your appointment setting system. Make sure you set up the appointment setting system for your webinar platform. This way, when people respond to your ads, they can set up the appointment to view the video. Usually, you should ask for money at this point. Step number six, set up an email system to remind people. You should link the appointment setting system with the email system so that when people sign up, they automatically get a reminder that they've already signed up and paid and that the webinar is happening soon. Step number seven, send out event notifications and gather emails. If you've done this right, when people set up an appointment, they've already signed up on your email list. However, if these are somehow disconnected, you can still get people to sign up to your mailing list. But of course, when people show up, they can then watch the video. Now, how exactly can you make money off your mailing list? Well, once you have people on your list, you can notify them of another seminar you're having. You can also send them ads for affiliate programs. When people click on these affiliate links and they buy something, you get a commission. You can also rent out your email ad blast to people looking for solo ads. They can pay you up to several hundred dollars per email blast. You can even sell your own products. Of course, you should push your own Kindle books as well as your courses on Udemy and other platforms.